Okay, Collison leads off and about to be placed away. Yeah, thank you, Alan. They're about to be placed in here for the eighth last leg of the quad here. Your favourite is being good at 160. 370 for seven, Snow Shiraz. She does go very well off an outside draw and she's got some very good form coming into this. We know shortly, last leg of the quad of the eighth out at Richmond. They're all set. Ready and racing now and nicely away was Capriati in the centre. Being good, come across to join it and bustling up well. Enjoy the inside. Two lengths to three, Rivers and Snow Shiraz, the tail ender at the judge. And Whale and Joy takes him out of the straight. A two lengths break over being good. A similar margin, three Rivers around Capriati and Snow Shiraz a length away at the tail but stays on the move. The leader is Whale and Joy on the top corner. Being good is staying all right with it. Five lengths away, three Rivers, the outside Snow Shiraz and Capriati. Being good swept straight past Whale and Joy before the corner. Snow Shiraz went the third, but being good, the favourites off and gone, it's raced away, Capriati goes the second, but being good, beat Capriati Snow Shiraz third, Whale and Joy faded out the fourth, and Three Rivers was last of the five, in the time of 35-61 35-61 and the favourite, too good, being good she was right there early and uh, she swept straight past the leader off the time corner, Whale and Joy and that was it, away she went, she's racing very well at the moment 6-3-7 and 1 of the numbers, 6-3-7-1. She'll return you 150-104. She just continued to tighten right up at the end of betting. Seven lengths by one and a half the margin, so she really opened up. Seven by one and a half, being good by Magic Sprite out of Elizabeth Royale and Jane Carruthers, the owner trainer. Three second, Capriati has snuck up on the inside, the grab second, Harry Sarkis, ahead of number seven, Snow Shiraz, Barry Collis, with one, Whale and Joy officially fourth. 6-3-7 and 1, 35-61 the time. And the splits of 9.65 at 20 and 07. And the overall time of 35 and 61. Uh, the favourite too good there in the eighth event. And that's her fourth win now from her last six starts. One at Gosford and three here. Of course, she beat Dusty Moonshine here about four starts back. And that Greyhound's got on the break the track record at the Gosford. So she's got some good form lines coming out of some of her 